Hi, welcome to Oil Field Info. Today I wanted to go over instrumentation a little, a little bit. Instrumentation is a craft in the oil field that many people don't know about. It pays really well. You can make $120,000 a year. You can move up to that, uh, that salary in two to three years time uh, for most people. It's not really a hard job. It's not back breaking. It takes a little thinking is what it takes. Um, instrumentation is uh, taking measurements of stainless steel tubing. You then install an instrument. You bend out a tube from an instrument to a control panel. When you're on the, say, a production platform, uh, the oil and gas comes from the sea floor or from under the sea floor. It comes up through a pipe, uh, through a well, and it goes through a tree and it then goes into a separator. From that separator, it goes many other places, a fuel gas scrubber, a fuel gas dryer. Uh, that's where your oil and your gas get separated in a separator and all that. But uh, you have a pretty big process, a production process on a production platform. Um, not to be confused with a drilling rig. Uh, a drilling rig is uh, a rig that will go out and drill a hole in the ocean floor. It will then put a pipe in place and it will cap that pipe. Uh, and then the production platform is moved out over that capped well and a well head is added. Uh, from there, that's where your oil and your gas comes into play. Uh, the oil and gas, like I said, comes up uh, from the ocean floor. It goes into separators, uh, fuel gas scrubbers, glycol, heaters and all that to dry out the oil a little bit, take the moisture out, uh, separate the oil and the gas. Uh, from there, it does quite a few other things. Uh, then it, it goes to shore, back to land uh, via pipeline or uh, oil line or oil tanker or something like that, uh, whichever the process may be. Um, but getting back to instrumentation, uh, what instrumentation does, it pretty much sets up instruments on the platform that help monitor the pressure and the safety on that platform. Uh, say you have an upset in a pipe in the flow line or something like that, uh, before the pressure can get too high to rupture that pipe, uh, the, the tube will carry a signal back to the panel and that panel will sense a high pressure and will perform a function and what it was programmed to do and say like a PLC, uh, Programmable Logic Control, uh, that, that PLC will then shut in or at least it will give a signal to do other functions and what it's programmed to do and shut certain things in on that platform to where an operator could come out and check on it and fix it and all that. Um, instrumentation plays a pretty way, a pretty big part uh, in the oil field industry. Um, it's a pretty cool thing to do. Um, you take a stainless steel tube, you take measurements for it, you bend it from the instrument into a tray, you'll go up maybe 20 to 100 feet sometimes uh, you run a few lines back to the panel uh, you have multiple bins in it but uh, it's really not hard to pick up uh, someone can learn it in two to three years time uh, with order changes doing 100 lines at a time and all that um, it, it pays really well uh, another craft in oil field is electrician uh, electrician and instrumentation guys work pretty much hand in hand fighting a little bit, but uh, they work side by side. Um, that's the I and E part of it. Um, there's other crafts in the oil field also, uh, pipe fitters, welders, QA, QC, and all that. Uh, uh, if you just Google instrumentation, you'll see a lot of pictures on it, uh, the tubing and all that. It's, it's really cool to bend, especially if someone's starting out. Uh, you can work offshore on a production platform. You can work on a drilling rig. You can work on the land well, you can work in the refineries, petrochemical refineries. Um, it, it pays really well to do instrumentation. Um, I just wanted to touch, give a little light on that. Um, I'll be back with a few more videos to uh, cover it a little better, a little more in depth and uh, how you can get started and all that.